Damas y caballeros, welcome to Algebra One here at Citrus Hill High School. My name is Mr. Benavides. I am located in room 401. My email address is ebenavides at valverde.edu. My extension here is 32401. Now, the majority of my classes are filled with ninth graders. That's right, ninth graders. Yes, I do have a couple sophomores, but this school year for Algebra One, it's mainly ninth graders. Now, ninth grade is the most difficult year for all four years of high school. The reason for that is because of that transition from a middle school to a high school. There are a lot of changes and including, including expectations. That being said, let's begin. Again, my name is Esteban Benavides. I graduated from Paris High back in 2005, class of 2005. I then went over to Cal State San Bernardino at Cal State San Bernardino, I graduated with my uh, bachelor's in mathematics back in 2010. I received my master's in admin credential from Grand Canyon University. And now I'm here for the past seven years. I've been here at Citrus Hill High School being a hawk. All right. Materials needed. So some of the materials needed. Students this year do have options. They have an option of either using paper or going digital. Now paper is the good old-fashioned notebook, pen, highlighter, and so forth, and line paper. Chromebook, on the other hand, as long as their uh, Chromebook is a touchscreen and they have the stylus, that's the little pin, if they have that, they can use their digital notebook. Either or is perfectly fine. The one thing that I do recommend for students to have, and I please please, please uh, help them have this, is a scientific calculator. Scientific calculator. It doesn't have to be the fancy $100, $200 ones. A simple Dollar Tree, $1, maybe Walmart $5 at the most, but nothing too crazy. All it really needs to do is basic operations, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. All right, let's move on. Course description. So, all of that basically summarizes that Algebra 1 is required for either diploma or GED. It is a requirement whether you go to a high school, a continuation school, a charter school, a private school, and that's right, even adult school. So no matter what, Algebra 1 is a requirement here in the state of California. Now, we did make some changes to Algebra 1 these past couple years, and this year specifically because of last year, right? Uh, being at home, distance learning. Now, the good thing is we have made everything a little bit more connected to day-to-day -day material. So we do talk more about supply and demand. We talk more about business oriented things and so forth, engineering and more. Grades. So my grades, pretty simple. 70% are assessments, 10% are district benchmarks, and 20% assignments. Now assessments, assessments are essentially tests. You have your unit tests and your quizzes. Now, let me give you the breakdown. The assessments right here in the middle, quizzes and unit exams. Now, quizzes will get replaced. We see quizzes here in my classroom more as feedback. It's progress reports, just to give students more of that reflection of where am I in this class? Am I understanding the content? Do I need more support? Now, the unit exam is more of that summative. That's the one that actually stays in the gradebook. So again, quizzes, eh, gives us feedback. Test, yep, that's the one that sticks. Good news, there's only about four, four unit tests, four unit tests that stay in the gradebook each semester. Quizzes, though, we probably have quizzes once every Friday. It's rare when we don't have a quiz, but it's mainly every Friday. Now, if we go over here to the beginning, district benchmark, that's your midterm and finals, that's 10%. And lastly, that third column, that third column is assignments. We do class activities at the end of each class. They're usually six problems. If they don't finish them in class, they do become homework. They do become homework. Now, because of everything that's happening, yes, there will be missing assignments. Yes, students will probably be absent one day or another. And because of that, the Algebra 1 team here completely understands. Therefore, we have decided to allow any missing assignment turned in at any time and receive full credit. I'll say it again, receive for full credit. 
Missing tests, on the other hand, those have to be made outside of class time. We used to have a SOAR time. We used to have SOAR where students would be able to uh, retake any exams during school days. But because we are not supplying SOAR this school year, students have to find time after school to take care of it. The good news is there will be no deduction in points, no deduction in points. Cheating, on the other hand, cheating, still the same as always, zero for both people. All right, let's keep going. Expectations, expectations, be respectful. That's right, just be respectful. Everything else falls under that. For example, raising your hand to speak, dress code, foul language, any put downs, and of course, being ready when the bell rings. Intervention, rare, but does happen once in a while. First one's a verbal warning. Second one, two minutes after class, you know, nice little conversation of what's happening, what's going on. And the third one, that's when I ask the student, please step outside. We need to make a phone call home. Now, the phone call is usually from directly my cell phone. It's right there, right there and then. And it's just so you can give a conversation to that student. Give them that motivation, if you know what I mean. All right, additional resources. After school tutoring in the library, peer tutoring in class. I'm also here during lunch, after school and in the mornings and online resources, Khan Academy, YouTube, and my HRW. All of this can always be found here in our Google Classroom. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, the most important piece here will be reaching out to me. Again, Algebra One teacher, Mr. Benavides, everybody does know me as Mr. B. My email, ebenavides at valverde.edu. That's right, valverde.edu. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your patience. And of course, thank you for supporting our students.